Hello and welcome to this campus update. I'm Steve Mitchell, Special Assistant for Media Relations here at BRCC, and I'm joined by Ms. Susan Neely, the Director for eLearning here at Baton Rouge Community College. Yes, Susan, hello. Susan, thanks for joining us on the update. Tell us a little bit about, as an introduction, what does eLearning mean? What does that cover here at, at BRCC? E-learning here at BRCC would include our fully online courses as well as hybrid courses. So you may be enrolled in a class that meets all the regular times during the week in a classroom, but you do some work on the computer. That's what we'd call web enhanced classes. Um, online courses are courses where you don't ever come to a class on campus. And then hybrid classes, you spend some time in class on the campus and some time working online. You do a little bit of both. Yes. Now I know uh, recently there's been some changes to some of the policies that affect students who are enrolled in some of our e-learning programs. Mm -hmm. One being there's sort of a testing phase that goes in if you're interested. Can you tell us a little bit about that, especially for maybe students who are considering an e-learning class? Sure, I'd be glad to. And I would encourage any student that was even thinking about an e-learning class, fully online or hybrid, to go ahead and go through the e-skills orientation and take the e-learning entrance exam. Now our reason to do this was it was not to hurt students, it's actually to help you. Our goal is to reserve seats in online classes for students who are prepared to be successful in those classes. So the eSkills orientation is actually set up like a Blackboard course. It takes you through various information that you need to know in order to be successful in an e-learning course. And then at the end, there's an exam where you have an opportunity to demonstrate that knowledge. Once you do so successfully, then you're entered in, your scores are entered into Banner and you're able to register for e-learning classes. And so it's really an orientation that prepares them for what that e-learning, online learning experience is going to be like. Absolutely. And, and, and students can't technically register for the classes until they go through that process, correct? That is correct. Okay. Banner actually will not let them register until we enter that prerequisite that they have passed the e-learning entrance exam. Now, if I'm a student and I'm interested in taking uh, an a e-learning class or a hybrid class in the spring, where do I go to actually do this orientation? Is it on the website? How could I find it? Absolutely. Um, you can find it on the website on the e-learning page. Okay. Um, you can also, uh, I think that there's a link on the home page that talks about the change in e-learning okay. and will take you to the instructions. And I would also mention, um, if you're a new student and you don't yet have a Lola login or a Blackboard login, there are still instructions to help you complete this process okay. so that you don't have to wait until you have a Blackboard login in order to get started. Okay. And those instructions, where would they find those? Are those on those same, same web link. sources? Yes. So we'll be sure to list some of those materials on the screen below so students can look for those uh, and look some of that information up. Now if a student is taking a interested in taking an e-learning learning class and they're trying to take this orientation, they may have some questions. Who should they call? Is there a certain number they should contact? Should they email somebody? What's the best way for them to maybe get some additional information? Well you can always call me. My number is 216 8130 but as you know we are going to be closed for a period of time okay, over the holidays right. Coming up for the holiday break but during that time you can email me and I will be checking email periodically through the holidays you can email me at elearning at mybrcc.edu and I'd be happy to respond to your questions possibly even set up a phone conference if we need to to talk you through what you need to do next now, if I'm a student and I'm registering for some classes, I'm interested in maybe doing an e-learning class or a hybrid class, and I'm, I'm going through Lola, I'm looking at the schedule of classes for the spring, is there a way for me to know, hey, that's an e-learning class, that's a hybrid class, so maybe I know ahead of time and think, okay, yeah, maybe that's the one, once I get my orientation done, that's the one I should shoot for. Yes, um, online e-learning classes should be noted in the schedule. They'll either say online in parentheses, and if you'll notice, those under the time and day will mm -hmm. say TBA okay. because there is no actual time when an I online gotcha. class meets. And then hybrid classes should say hybrid, and remember they will only meet part of the time that a traditional class would meet, but then you'll still have obligations of things to do outside of class via Blackboard, whether it be watching videos, participating in an online discussion, that kind of thing. I gotcha. 
any other things or words of wisdom you'd like to give students who are thinking about that e-learning experience coming up? Well, I'd just like to say um, sometimes students don't really understand what e-learning is about or how it works. Sometimes students will register for an online class and then email the instructor or me and say, so when do we meet? Right. So just know that um, the great thing about e-learning classes is that you're able to do the work on your time, whether it be 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock at night, or 2 a.m based on your family, your work schedule, your life, as long as the work is done by the deadline. They're not correspondence courses. You right. can't just do all the work at the beginning or all the work at it's the an end. Ongoing process. It's an ongoing process with ongoing deadlines, mm -hmm. but it does provide the flexibility that many of our students need. Sure. For those who might be a little unsure as to whether or not online is really for them, a hybrid course is a great way mm -hmm. to kind of dip your toe in the water right. and see how you like that experience of learning independently, but yet you still do have some time in class with your instructor. I gotcha. We've got a lot of hybrid courses on the schedule for the spring. We're really excited. We've been working with faculty on how to design the best hybrid classes to make the best use of their time with the students. And we really want to see the students um, engage in those and give us feedback on how they're working and if it's something that really meets their lifestyle needs. I gotcha. And I, I, th I guess one thing to make sure students are aware of that uh, it, it offers that flexibility, but it's, it's definitely a time commitment. It's uh, uh, as much work, if not more, in terms of time that it's put into the class. And I know I took one of my first online courses with you over the summer right. and it was a great experience, but it's a lot of work. And But now it did give me the flexibility to build it around my own schedule, which was great, but you really have to be dedicated to it. And so it sounds like the, the big takeaway is for students who are interested in online learning or e-learning who are interested in hybrid classes they should definitely take this orientation it's required but even if you're sort of thinking about it you should go ahead and take the orientation so then you're prepared if you're ready to cross that cross that bridge when you get there absolutely okay. and it does kind of explain to students the time requirements right. you know that that time is required in online classes typically anywhere from 9 to 15 hours per week mm -hmm. which is really not more than the time that's suggested sure, for face-to-face right. -face classes. Out, outside when class you, study, that kind absolutely. of Absolutely. Right. It's just not a specific time that you have to sit in the classroom, but you do have to be dedicated to set that time aside and get that work done by the deadline. It's just you've got the flexibility of fitting that in where it works best for you. Exactly, which may be different for you than it is for the right. student next to you. Right. So that, that's a great thing about e-learning. Well, great. Well, so be sure to check out those web resources. Susan, mm -hmm. thanks for uh, chatting with us. Thank and we you. look forward to seeing everybody back on campus in the spring. Uh, I'm your host, Steve Mitchell, and we'll see you on the next Campus Update.